Yeah, well. I'm the roleplay gamer and I like to party. Nostalgia hit. Let's do it. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to go uh, hard mode here. This is well, hard difficulty, rather. This is just basically the original. Uh, so you haven't got lives or, or any of this nonsense. I mean, what what is this? Lives? I mean, or rather health in... Um, in Abe's Odyssey, what what is all this? Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, single player and uh, follow me. We'll do what needs to be done. So a bit of background here. This is this wasn't the first game I ever played, but it was one of the first that really got me, I suppose, obsessed about gaming. Um, I think I played this when I was like seven or eight. Yeah. So not long after it came out. I actually know all this intro section uh, off by heart. <laughs> I won't have, uh, I won't be obnoxious and annoy you by by actually reciting it. Um, although I'm actually really, really having to resist the urge to do so because uh, I used to do it all the time as a kid. Anyway, um, this actually got me thinking about making games. Uh, interestingly enough, I think first when I was like like I said seven or eight. Um, right after getting this, I was so into it, I, I pretty much just copied the whole concept of it and started designing 3D levels um, for a, a clone of this game. I even pretty much co copied the character of Abe and just changed his hairstyle and I was completely convinced that it was unique. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of funny and sad looking back on it, but that's how much I was into this. Uh, and then later on, inspired by more so the, the tribal aspects of like Mudokan culture, uh, probably inspired more by the, the sequel to Abe's Odyssey, Abe's Exodus. I was, I, I started to design real-time strategy games based on that sort of tribal culture. Uh, so there you go. This is how much I loved and still love this game. This is of course the remake if you haven't already noticed. Um, and it's, it's not perfect. But it's it's good enough for a nostalgia hit. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't really feel like I could recommend this or otherwise, because I feel like my nostalgia for this game blinds me. Um, but I, I can talk about some of the things that I think it, you know, it fails at um, as a as a remake. Anyway, let's um, if we can, can we skip this area? Can we skip this part? Yeah, we can. Again, I was really resisting the urge to to just talk through that. Hi, my name is Abe. I used to work here. Well, I was really a slave, like all the others. <laughs> Get me out of here and help me rescue the others or whatever it was. I think that was in the demo version though. I actually played the demo of this before getting the proper game. It was in a big old box too, the real nice with one of those forward like front flat things. Um, all, the, all the characters and art on the front. Anyway, we've got to get out of here because otherwise that thing's going to blow us up. Um, what happens here? Oh, it just opens the, uh, the door. Okay, so what's, what's good about this and what's not so good? Well, it's Abe's Odyssey. Um, so, you know, you can't go wrong there. But I, I'm, I don't like the new perspective. I, I think it, it's unnecessary and in some cases actually ruins the atmosphere because that... That was one of the things that it had, one of the, the major things this game had going for it, is, um, is the atmosphere, and that's what really pulled me in initially. Um, the, the 2D nature of it really allowed, allowed them to play with, with the darkness. The, the, I mean, the fact that you could hide in the darkness. I, I probably should be going faster than this. I want to, I want to cover some ground, um, in this video. Okay, so what are we doing here? We've got to... Okay. Turn off the... Come on. That's another thing. The uh, the controls are a little bit... That's going to kill that guy. I think there's a slig over here, so we'll kill him. Blow this guy up, and we're good to go. <laughs> Abe loves it. He's loving every minute of it. Alrighty. All right. Um, so yeah, I, I, I get no, too soon, too soon. I feel like, yeah, the new perspective kind of ruins it a little bit because you you miss that mystery. Um, and yeah, some of this might be the nostalgia because I actually think that the even though I would have liked to have played the original in a higher resolution um, than it was made, 
the the fact that it was low resolution in some cases kind of helped it. For example, the birds that would would come in and respawn you. I knew they were birds because they told you they were birds, but you could never actually make out anything specific about them. And um, that gave them an air of mystery. And it's like, oh, wow, what what kind of savage alien birds are we talking about here? But now you can actually see what they are. And, and look, it's not the best looking game in terms of like textures. Well, really, it's the textures that are the biggest problem. Um, some of them are a little bit muddy which is a shame. All right, so we can't possess this guy. No, we don't want to do that. Okay. <laughs> well, let's just kill ourselves. There we go. And we'll, we'll respawn at the checkpoint and we'll do that again. I want to rescue all the Mudokans. Um, okay, so we can't talk to them because that's going to get this guy to freak out. Oh, what am I doing? I didn't mean to press jump. <laughs> Yeah, the controls are a little bit weird. I mean, they've they've allocated controls to more... Sorry, there are more keys. So more dedicated keys for certain controls. Which I suppose is a good thing. But considering that I'm used to the original design, it's a little bit disconcerting. Okay. Let's, let's go sneaking because I'm not sure. Okay. We got one of these. How are we going? What's that going to do? Alright. There we go. Easy. Easy. Not a problem. There are a couple new features that I like. For example, the fact that when you get close to a ledge, it sort of stops you. So you know you're at the at the edge of the ledge and then you got to push further to, to keep going. That's a real nice quality of life change. And the fact that you can... Um, I think it's a new addition, the fact that you can actually go, Hey, Alia! And get a whole bunch of, uh, of your buddies at once, which I think previously was only something in the you could do in the sequel. Um, so that's nice. We're going pretty slow here, so let's, <laughs> let's try and pick it up. I know I said that already. Um, but yeah, in terms of the... I, I suppose you'll, you'll, see it, you'll see it clearer later on in the game, but the... the as a result of the new perspective, you can't hide in shadows. I mean, it's a difficult... Here we go. The perfect example. It's a difficult thing to portray, hiding in shadows in a 3D environment. So instead, they've replaced it with steam. And aside from the fact that that doesn't make any sense when you're in the wild, why would there be steam coming out of the ground, you know, like in some village somewhere, some tribal village? Aside from that, it just doesn't look as good. The, the darkness was really simple and thematically appropriate, and I love that. Um, so, uh, okay. <laughs> so while it is, you know, gameplay-wise, it's a, a perfectly fine remake. In fact, it's a very good remake. Um, I just think thematically it does... It is a little bit ruined. Which I'm sorry to say. Alright, so we're going to have to sneak here. No more rolling. Alright. I have gotten up to... Alright, alright. Come on, buddy. There we go. Um, I've gotten up to... Uh, Paramonia and Scrabania. Uh, so I, I can't remember the start of the game uh, quite as well as I would like. Okay... Well, I think we'll do this one at a time, because the other guy might take some finagling. It's alright, the birds will come back. Uh, we'll throw in a quick save here. That's another good feature, or nice feature, handy feature, that was previously only available in the sequel. Um, again, but, you know, I wouldn't mind... All right, <laughs> that was close. We'll throw in a quick save. I wouldn't mind trying like going through the game in one in one go. You know, I mean, what I mean by that is without uh, without quick saving, because it does cheapen some of the puzzles a little bit. But then again, I mean, some of the puzzles are really simple. The only thing that makes it hard is the fact that I mean, there's just one stage that's 
the sort of spikes up difficulty wise. And you know what to do, it's just like a matter of timing or something. Alright. I don't know if anything I'm saying makes sense at all in this video, because I'm... <laughs> I'm both swimming in, uh, in giggly nostalgia, and I'm also concentrating a little bit. See, this is, this is something, a problem I have with the controls. Um, oh, really? This guy? Hang on. And there's no, as far as I can tell at least, there's no single button way to do a, uh, to load a quick save on the controller. Which is a little bit of a shame. Alright, let's count this out. Ah! See, the, some of the controls, um, such as that, you know, the, the context, um, context sensitive control thingy, um, it lags, which is not great. Ah! See, I'm trying to do it early because I know you have to do it early. Let's try it again. Okay. Ah, uh, that's why. There we go. Better throw in a quick save. <laughs> Alrighty, is there... There's got to be a bird portal this way, right? Unless I just pull these guys back this way. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter which way I do it. Doesn't matter which portal I send them through. Cool beans! Coming through um, on my own prior to making this video, I did miss a whole chunk of, uh, of Moondockens that I would like to get. It was basically a matter of not remembering which way led to the end of the level. Um, and so I ended up... Hang on, what's that, what's that going to do? Okay. So that doesn't come down at all, does it? That'd be good if, it, if that's the case, yeah. Okay. So we'll possess this... Uh, this savage sleek. I mean, just the character. Um, the character remains, which I'm pleased about. Even though the atmosphere suffers a little bit, um, and it's not just because of the 2.5D, you know, quote-unquote upgrade. I feel like they could have... Hang on. I didn't end up killing a... a hang on, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die and, and see what happens here. Because there were two of them, right? Or am I smoking something? Huh. Alright. Well, maybe we can just kill this guy with the, uh, with a meat grinder. I mean, why are these things here? <laughs> anyway. Alrighty. Could have sworn I saw two of them. Unless I accidentally killed one, uh, one was under the meat grinder, maybe? I don't know. And I killed him before I went through the checkpoint. That would have been, uh, a little bit awkward. Actually, I don't need to even go through that. I can just pull the lever. Not a problem. Don't worry about it. Alright, are we going to get an update on on survivors or something? That'd be good. Cool beans. Alright. Casualty zero. Okay. Then I, I was mistaken. Uh, okay, so we need to go through here to get more of these guys. I think this one is slightly finicky. I'm always nervous when it comes to... Hang on, there's a sleeping sleek here, isn't there? I think that's that's going to end up killing this guy. So... Okay. How do we deal with this? Okay, I think I, I think what we're gonna want to do is turn this bomb on, sneak over here a little bit, quick save. Oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> but you understand what I'm trying to do. Um, we want to grab his attention. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should just start running. 
Then he'll run after me, jump into the bomb, and, and we'll be good to go. That's what we want. Okay. We just turn around. There we go. Great. He didn't blow up that guy. I feel like the, the explosion range tolerance is is a little bit better this time around. In the previous game, it was really easy to blow up your, your friends by... By blowing up sleeks and whatnot. Okay, that's that's uh, three down. Two more to go. Okay. I feel like rolling's probably our best bet here. Yeah, not too difficult. It's just a little bit, like, because <laughs> you have to rely on their um, slightly laggy running. Now, I'm not sure if this... We might we might save one guy through here. I think that's it. That was one of the things that, that always intrigued me. When I was a kid, of course, because I didn't quite understand. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if when I, when I was younger, games had more secrets. But it felt like they did, probably because I didn't understand everything. Like the fact that some of these areas look like they should lead to bigger areas, but they don't. They're like, there's a there's a closed door here. How do I get through that? I presume I'm going to come through here later. Um, once I return to Rupture Farms. And this is this is a perfect example of, of the perspective and atmosphere being less awesome in this game. Um, part of the charm of the original, and it might have just been because it seemed like such a big thing at the time, you've got this almost static 2D environment um for most of the game and then you get into like one of those those train car things and suddenly the world becomes 3d and it's of course it's playing like a, a little movie or something um but the, the world becomes 3d for a moment as it takes you you know into the background or something it was it was wild it really blew my tiny little mind you know seven eight year old rick just couldn't handle that it was just too good. <laughs> but like I was saying, the character remains, of course, because all the, the sounds are... I'm not sure if they've been redone, but they've certainly been remastered. I feel like there are a couple more sounds, like there's more variation in the farting <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, which I suppose is nice that they put that in. The sligs are still awesome. I just love how, how um, grumpy and savage they are, and, and then they just, like, revel in violence. Uh, this, is, this is the place we want to go. The processing center. I think if we can go this way. No, we can't. Okay. So there's there must be something else I missed. Cause I know coming out of Rupture Farms, I, I missed 50, 50 uh Mudokans. I don't think I've missed anything yet. Hang on, that's not gonna Is that gonna take us out? I'm so just slightly nervous. Okay. I've, um, quick save, quick save again, and I'll just come through here, just in case. Oh, we're good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so what's this going to do? Is this going to... Oh, okay. It's just the elevator. That's fine. All right. We'll get a, we'll get a boom boom. And I suppose it's nice that you just have to walk over bombs and rocks and whatnot this time around. You don't have to actually crouch on them. So in that regard, it's, it's easier to control, which is nice. But there's also the issue of, like, to jump into wells and whatnot, you have to hit the, um, you have to hit the context-sensitive action button. So that's E on the keyboard or, or square on the controller, PS4 controller. Um, and because it has a, a little lag associated with it, it can make jumping into wells and getting to elevators quickly when you're running away from things, it, it can be a little bit difficult. So I'm not crazy about that. All right. And I like that you can sort of, because the analog stink, st analog stink, analog stick, you can inch, you know, uh, just crawl around on your, no, 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 <laughs> don't blow me up. Do not blow me up, sir. All right. I, got, I keep forgetting that as soon as you, you start aiming, no, I deserve to die there. As soon as you start aiming with a bomb, it actually, um, well, it's a grenade really, I guess. It actually starts counting down. 
That was unfortunate. Alrighty. Is that gonna work? No. <laughs> no, it won't. Alright. Wait for him to go to sleep? Yeah. You know, we probably don't even have to kill him. Let's get a let's get another bomb. See, I just I had to hit it like how many times? Three, four times. Because it wasn't responding. And that's not the controller, that's the controls. Uh, controls themselves. So what do I have to do here? Oh, I have to get up there. Okay, so I, I think I might be able to destroy the robot, but uh, I may as well just destroy the slig. <laughs> oh shit, okay. That's alright, it still worked out in my favor in the end. Oh, I think this is how I did it last time anyway. Okay. So we got to time this. This is a little bit awkward. There we go. Okay. Uh, what next? Do we go back up? Hang on. Let's get another grenade. There might have been... Oh, okay. Yeah, I think this is the way out. So there has to be something I missed. Maybe... Does that go anywhere? I'm not... I'm not really sure. Alright, let's come down here. We might be able to get a better shot. No, we're not on the same level, so... We should be able to just... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. We must be able to get through there. That must be it. There we go. That's what I want. Alright. Um, there also seems to be a greater tolerance for fall damage this time around. Here we go. <laughs> Excellent. Semi-secret area. Now, I'm not sure if maybe I never came through here um, last time I played. That's not great. <laughs> maybe I never came through here or maybe this is an entirely new area. Um, keep in mind that Oh man, how do I do this? Is there an offset? Yeah, there is an offset. Okay. That's what we want. I'm going to throw in a quick save. Um, there are... Previously... Ah, okay. Alright. Um, previously, there were 99 Mudokans to save in the original. Um, now there are 299. So, I think they might have added a few more areas to compensate for that. That's going to kill me. Okay, how do I handle this? Do I just go all the way through? Is that what we're doing? Nah. <laughs> Too soon. Alright, next one maybe. Nope. Screw it. Just, uh, just go the, the load quick save. I really wish there was an easy way to do that on the controller. Uh, unfortunately, the keyboard doesn't work when when you've got the controller rocking. All right. There, sh there should be... Okay, if I just time it right, I should be able to get across in one go. There we go. That wasn't too hard. Oh, okay, and the lever stops the... Oh, shit. Alright, that was a little bit awkward. <laughs> That's right, we'll just... Uh, we'll possess him and it won't be a problem. Looks like this is... There's no... Hang on. Maybe I'm missing more secret areas. This isn't going to be a bird portal that takes me somewhere else. Somewhere else is it? Nah, it's not. Okay. Alright. I was hoping it was going to be a whole new area. Apparently not. Now, how do I get down? Do I just... Yeah, that's how we do it. Now, are there any other secret areas in this room? There might be, because there are two levels there. Let's have a look. That's going to take us to the scrap... Oh, uh, what is it? Stocklands. That's not going to get us anywhere. 
Let's just go back a little bit. We'll backtrack. Better safe than sorry, right? Because, like I said, 50. 50 Mudokans I lost. Maybe we can go through here now? No, we can't. So there has to be something up here. It would stand to reason. We'll at least get a look at the board to see how many we've saved so far. It won't have been enough. How many was in there? Was in there? It was like six or so. I should have counted them. That's good advice for us all. <laughs> Alright, there should be something this way. Then again, it could be something we come back to later. Okay. Let me just double check. There's nothing up there. Oh, hang on. Maybe is there. Okay, I thought I saw some debris for a second. But no. That. What does that do? <laughs> Unless pulling the lever takes us to another location. Number one. That's where I was before, right? Well, hang on. Let's just let's just go back just in case I missed something. And there's no way to get up there. Alright. Alright. Let's just head back. <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. I don't want to backtrack too far. Because I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything too major. I mean, it's just the beginning of the game. We haven't even gotten into the, uh, the real stuff yet. No. That's, that's where they, uh... That's where they hide the best secrets, really. Usually. <laughs> Well, they should, the beginning of the game. Because then it's like, oh shit, I didn't even know. It was right there the whole time. 27. I should have saved more, I think. All right, let's come back this way. Condemned. So it's not like we're going go, we're gonna to go through there. looking for for anything really I think we might be going too far back at this point point. and it's not like we can go down there still nothing nah there would we, we haven't missed anything I'm reasonably sure all right Let's just head to the, the Stocklands or whatever. Oh, shit. <laughs> there we go. A, uh, <laughs> a big guilt-ridden warning. If you escape, all workers on this shift will die. Well, I, I'm, I still feel like I'm missing someone, but I guess we'll find out. I'm not really sure if, if they had this part in, in the original. I'm, I'm kind of feeling like they didn't. But it's nice, nice that they added a few more uh, cutscenes in to, to add to the flavor. And that's my dog freaking out in the background. Okay. Can we like... I'm just going to run ahead a little bit here. Because I know that guy's going to die in a second. I just want to see the screen with how many Mudokans we lost. I'm pretty sure there's one close. Ah! <laughs> anyway, guys. I might just leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to gently caress that like button. It needs love like everything does. I'm not, I don't think I'll continue with this. This was just like a one-off. Hey, 
Remember Abe's, Od Abe's Odyssey, isn't this really cool? I mean, I'm not ruling it out if you guys are super... Oh, hang on, there are the casualties. 43, we missed 43, they're right there. Damn it, where were they? I kind of want to go back and just check everything now. Where were they hiding? <laughs> there wasn't that much gameplay. All right, that's it. I'm going back and I'm checking. Um, hey, yeah, if you really, really want to see more, that's cool. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give you more. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Roleplay Gamer out.